<laughs> okay, so this is called the N N N N E S N E S M I Health. My health. That, that oh, my health. health. This is the N E S uh, Provision software. So is the software sold separate, or how does that work? It's, it's a complete package. Do they update the software every year? Or? It has been upgraded uh, when necessary, but now they're moving to a cloud-based system. Oh, uh-huh. You can keep this, or you can go to the oh, cloud-based. Uh -huh. But sure. if you go to the cloud base, you have to be online every time to use it. Yeah. So go ahead and put your hand over the top of that. You touch do, it. I, do I need to touch the side just, part, too? Just go like that. Oh. Do I need to touch it or put, you, put you it might over? need to touch it. Okay. Body field detected. We'll start the scan. It is done. There, there's another one. It's called the quantum analysis. Yeah. Have you seen that? I've, I've got one of those. Did, it has a similar setup. I'd like to setup. check it out. Yeah. Oh, you, guess what? You didn't change it to oh. mail. Okay, you, you can pull off of there. Let's go back. Oh, okay. I was wondering why you had tits. <laughs> it's my alter ego, right? <laughs> my, one of my teachers coming through. <laughs> I wonder if it'll allow us to scan again. It may not. Okay. Try it again. Yeah, it says please allow five days in between scans. Oh, okay. It should work other than uh, yeah. genital perspectives. That's the same thing with the uh, uh, NLS. I think they don't want you to do the scans more than once a day. And the therapy, they don't want you to do the therapy more than three times a day, too. Yeah, the reason why this is a five day is because it sends information to you as well as picks up. Oh, okay. And so it will change the body field okay. as a response from doing the scan. So it basically kind of picks up on my DNA frequency and sends out? It's like your body, your the human body field. Okay. Which we all have human body fields, which actually generate in a toroidal perspective from the heart because that's where the oh, most uh -huh. amount of energy is from. Wow. Uh -huh. And because that is where, from both directions, going this way as well as this way, it is where the energy is sent out of the body. Okay. The, the biggest amount. I've had times where I could go like this and have it pick it up uh -huh. and do a scan. Great. You know, get too close to someone with a lot of energy back when I had more. So these are blockages, energetic blockages. Okay. The teeth, bronchial, and I'm guessing you're, you could use a chiro adjustment right around this uh -huh. area. Okay. <laughs> so the thoracic. Do you have any pain in your body right now? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. Not that you're aware of? It shows that the thoracic is a little unhappy. Yeah. This down in the ankle area could oh, be yeah, my, a little bit. That was funny when well, you said that. I got a little <laughs> twitch down there. And then the, the fingers, elbows, and shoulders slight. Uh-huh. So the way these work, the color-wise, the purple is the strongest, and then the orange, then the yellow, then the green, then the, the white. The white and the green, you would not even uh -huh. know. Oh, uh -huh. But these are areas where there's been problems. Your muscles know it. Okay. Your body carries information in different ways, and it remembers these things. So we'll go back to here. So these are the most important areas where you have issues right now. We go one segment down. Wow, that was a quick analysis. Oh, yeah. Now oh, the skew takes like three minutes, but it does 10,000. Well, this does it in about 10 seconds. <laughs> Amazing. Um, tonsil. Now, I have, I've had the tonsils show up, even though I've had my tonsils out, but it's the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the um, tonsils are the part of the immune system, right. basically. Yeah. It's the first defense of the immune system, right. basically. Uh, duodenum. Uh -huh. huh. And then if we go down one layer deeper, the eyes, yeah. stomach, abdominal lining, fingers, 
Scapulas. Scapula, elbows, and midbrain, along with your ankles. So normally what gets done, if, if this was a full-blown setting, <coughs> what would be done is we would come in here and hit this file and go ER3. ER3 is bronchial. Turn it on. And we run for two minutes. And this is putting out a PEMF um, field with the information of the bronchioles on layered onto that to help with breaking up the energetic blockages. Mm. Huh. So this has, what are these little connections here on the side for? Uh, one of the, this I believe is something that they were starting to use initially, uh -huh. but I think they decided against, I think it was a laser pen uh -huh. Uh -huh. that would connect there. This can connect up to any of your uh, other devices that uh, um, for like a lot of uh, cosmetologists have for working on the face mm -hmm. from their different devices. Um, and you can just plug, plug in from here mm -hmm. or you could plug in a set of handheld holding devices. Uh -huh. Okay. Or you could, and you could use those to, to do for foot baths as well. Drop them into mm. containers mm -hmm. for one on each side for a foot bath. Oh. Um, huh. So there's a lot of different things that could be plugged in and used to send that information out. But then you would have to change this over from, right now that's in broadcast mode. So this will send out roughly a, a 10 foot circle. Mm-hmm. Uh, people have felt it further away than that, mm -hmm. you know, up to 25 mm -hmm. feet. But uh, so that just did a two minute. So if I was to hit this, now it is showing the bars. So we could do it on body oh, uh -huh. as well, here or here, and then adjust the amount of intensity. how not only the intensity, but how deep of a wave it's sending. Wow. Uh -huh. So when you go from one so we can to five, pretty much penetrate the body all the way right, through. Right. Oh, that's cool. So at the one, it's just going quicker, uh -huh. and, and then the further you go, the deeper it goes and puts a huh. more thumping power into it. Is it like uh, EMF pulse or something? Well, that's actually directly, but it's direct from the skin. Uh huh. That it's doing okay. that thumping. That would meaning the thumping, meaning sending the pulses uh -huh. right. through. And you can feel that with that. Yeah, we'll oh, show okay. you that. Then it also has a biofeedback perspective as well. So if we were oh. to put this here, and then I could, so I just did a line, yeah. another line. You can keep testing to see. And it's taking a feedback on each spot. Where was that one spot? Yeah, see, and so the red one would be the highest one so far. So it's showing on the different spots, mm -hmm. responses. And then the whole biofeedback is an interesting perspective, and I don't do very much of that perspective of it, but you can actually go and do a grid across someone's back and see exactly where there's a problem mm -hmm. or there's a blockage. But you can also do that a different way just when if we were to... And I have to finish this. Or, let me get out of this. Start back up. Now, we'll put it into... I can, you can hear it. I can hear that. You can hear it. Yeah, yeah, just sending something in there. Now, if we get to a spot where there's a, a blockage, oh. it will, like, oh. stick to the skin. Uh -huh. A little something there. So, huh. anyway, that's kind of how that perspective works. So, we'll go back up into this. Well, so that's those, interesting. Those are, I will use this a lot. I have lower back issues uh -huh. 
uh, I have back problems all over, but the lower is where the most damage is. And a lot of times when my back is killing me, low back, I'll put this on lumbar, uh -huh. on the PEMF, and run it for about four minutes. And usually by then, the pain is eased up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not touching me. It's just sending information. <laughs> I've noticed that with the, the spooky. Too. I've not had the same effect with the spooky. No. Well, I, this. yeah. <laughs> this one. I go to sleep with a spooky. Well, on. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, let's go. Anta. So, the big field of liner is off. Polarity, not bad. Polar axis is a little bit. Go back here. Let's go to VD. So, now, this also comes with um, a group of what's called infaceuticals which are, um, it's like uh, mineral drops. Uh -huh. It's essentially water with a little bit of minerals in uh -huh. it, and a tiny bit of, of salt and a tiny bit of uh, alcohol to keep it so it will be good to last for like two years. And then it is charged with the information for each specific part of what it's trying to do. So. We have all of these are all different drivers for the different parts of the body. One is for source and mm. then to imprint mm -hmm. the cell, and then the cell driver, and then the nerves. And this is all based on Chinese, uh, the whole Chinese system. Mm -hmm. The guy that actually did the research behind all this actually put a Chinese uh, school, uh, school together in Australia of uh, Chinese medicine. And once he did that, then it's like, okay, what else am I going to do? <laughs> and they started getting involved with uh, this and figuring out how uh, information affected different types of cells and what types of cells were the same in different parts of the body and how things were affected. And it, it all starts with how life starts. So from the egg and the sperm and the beginning of the growth of life and how things develop through the, as the fetus gets mm -hmm. bigger and bigger and bigger so do all of these systems they all it, there's it goes in a circular fashion so this looks really good you have a couple of yellows in here which isn't bad at all which means that ultimately you're not in too bad a shape. This one here is showing a purple on the EI7, which is the blood field, gallbladder meridian. Mm. Now if we look in here for the numbers, so the gallbladder arteries field is showing a four. Four is the highest number for mm. this mm -hmm. type of a page. You've got a couple of twos. And if we look in the stomach, you got a few threes here showing some it's kind of looks like the 90 NLS it has a similar little diagrams bad. yeah and then if we go to the brain not bad looks like it still works <laughs> so I like this this EI uh, page so we start with one I like going down through and look and see what all it shows through and it's showing that there are some issues here and there transverse colon mucous membrane bronchial field which was sort of showing up in the other in early on ascending colon you know a, a few spots down in the guts but the fact that this is in a white means that it's not a major priority at the moment at the moment there's other more much more important things <laughs> now we can take a look at the backside and see what's going on spinal nerves field a two there not too bad. So we can go on to the next one. Tracheal field. Show a little bit in the lumbar. Take a look at the heart. That actually looks pretty good. Everything. Come down to the sciatic. Now oh, the great sciatic nerve. Looks like you've had a few issues at So at times. is that side specific? Is it different? No. Oh, okay. No. So then we go to the mucous membranes and not too much, a little bit here, a little bit here. Is it parathyroid? 
that little spot there, that's what uh, tells the where the calcium deposits get put in the body. Oh. I learned that a long time ago from Norman Walker. Wow. Remember? You know uh, him? The Walker yeah. uh, press guy? Yeah. There, it's showing thoracic vertebra field and your lumbar field. Well, the atlas field being a two, um, if it was a four, I'd say it was definitely out. Mm. Um, you definitely have something out of balance here, mm -hmm. and more than likely here as well. <clears throat> so three and five are the ones that show you what goes on in the spine which I would always check to see because mm -hmm. it, it's kind of neat. I've showed this to different chiropractors, and there oh, really? like, a lot of them. Uh, How can but you then tell? there's a lot of chiropractors that actually use this. Uh -huh. So it's kind of interesting how people uh, react. Yeah, well, I showed uh, the uh, scale electro uh, acupuncture device to one acupuncturist, and he said, "You can't, you can't force electronics into." Acupoints, and I said, well, it's reading the reaction all the time. It's giving so subtle impulses. And it's absorbing light or not, as long as you're alive, all the points. Uh-huh. Um, so bladder nerves field is a four. But then again, all of these are in the white. We haven't gotten into any of the ones that are saying they're really unhappy. Uh, Midbrain nucleus field is a four. you got a little more stuff going on, but this isn't a major uh, player at the moment. We go into the five, which shows the nasal field of four. Take a look at the bladder. There was something going on there. Yeah, bladder, muscular, coats field. Mm. It'll show for the prostate and the male organ. also shows the lymphatic system and that shows that most of these are good a little bit there uh, and uh, talking about the tonsils a little bit again then this one is a little more important which means it's probably a couple of twos in here not too bad that so must be, yeah, here's a four. Now we go into your heavy hitter, being a purple. Nothing there. And that was where the stomach was showing a little bit of unhappiness mm. in the different fields there. <clears throat> and this is the liver meridian. Nothing too radical so far. Liver lobes being a three. All this being a green, which is like, you know, overall you're in pretty good shape. Well, not good. You know, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> a lot better than a lot of scans I've done. <laughs> that was the heart meridian. Epiglottis field. This is the bone marrow stomach meridian. A little sinus, so you got a little something going on. See what it shows with the stomach. A little bit of the same stuff that we saw before. Uh oh. Everything was pretty good there. This all being a green, it's yeah, nothing too much. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Central. 
Oh, I don't know either. That 90 and NL, NLS has a lot of those weird terms in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think they're Russian and Chinese or something. Right. And a lot of stuff gets lost in the translation. But a little bit with the spleen and... So, that all. And then this will also show the, the meridians on... Let me go into the next. And these are the, the terrains. So showing you immune deficiency field. Which appears to influence the healing of tissues of the red and yellow parts of the bone marrow. Tongue, heart, frontal lobes of the brain. Hmm. So th this is into it deeper. So uh, normally what, what would happen is we would start with the BFA, with big field alignment. So if this, these being out, this is a yellow, it's out far enough, you would get drops to take to get this part balanced. Because once, if you don't balance your fields to begin with, then no real healing can take place any mm -hmm. anywhere. Once you start that and then you get into getting making sure that the drivers are all in good shape, and these are all pretty good then you start looking in a little bit deeper and so this EI7 would be listed in the recommendations of the drops to take to help start balancing and getting information to mm. this particular part of the body uh, EI6 possibly as well and you normally end up doing the drivers and the terrains first getting them up to speed before you start getting into these mm. next two mm -hmm. pages now this is showing that heavy metals is an issue, uh, which isn't totally surprising in this day and age. Yep. Um, Epsom salt baths. I just ordered a 50-pound bag of Epsom salts. Wow. $54 on Amazon. Uh-huh. And basically uh, a cup worth for every... Uh, hundred pounds of body weight, mm -hmm. roughly, mm, okay. per bath, and about a forty-minute bath mm -hmm. of nice and warm, but not too hot. And and the first half is sucking stuff out, and the second half is allowing you to absorb the magnesium. Oh, uh -huh. and we don't get enough magnesium in our diets anyway, so mm -hmm. Hmm. they don't. Uh, so that's that's a good thing. Yeah, I've heard of that. So. Uh, let me go back over here and go into the mind perspective.